just started doing the wall for in the boat between the, the galley and the bedroom bit. Just thought I'd give you a quick look what I'm doing. I've cut the bit into two just for the sheer fact to make it easier to get it on and off the boat and to fix it because I'm on my own and it was a bit heavy this 18 mil hardwood marine ply to get up the ladders so I've cut it in the two but you're not gonna see it at the end of the day um, let's have a look what we've got well, I've done this bit is the seating area I'll give that a primer and now I'll just give it a little bit of the grey top coat that I want there's the other bit of the wall what's got to go in there's the other section there that I've cut so I'm going to have to join these back together but I've cut them in a way that they are going to join on this side here behind the cupboard so you're not going to see any of it it's just made life a lot easier and in the front here when it goes in I'm going to make some sort of bit that you can check the water tank I'm sort of figuring I'm not sure whether I'm going to put like a groove in it or an air vent which could open would be ideal but I'll see when I get to that bit but this is the grey paint I got and this is the doors that's quite a good match considering there's got white primer underneath there it's got white primer and it is the first coat so it will come up darker when I get another coat on it but things are progressing slow but sure I've had to put some screws in here when I was doing it but now I'm going to do it with a nail gun I just couldn't do it on my own hold it in position and fire the nail gun in because you don't get no chances with a nail gun once it's in it's in um, so let's see got a little bit down there vent bit of airflow um, I'm sort of getting ready to put this in now and I'll show you when it's in I've got this bit of wall in position so I was just gonna give you a quick little update of it in position to show you how I've uh, done this bit and how I've cut it just to give you some idea because it is difficult on your own so I'll show you how I've done it I'm not saying this is the best way to do it but it's how I've done it I've got it where it's going to be roughly and like I was saying to you about the water tank which is there I'm thinking about in the front here somewhere either putting a big groove in with two little grooves on either side shorter just to make it look like that's the way it's supposed to be and what I was saying about the smaller bit of wood there if you can see that I've cut it it's not actually fixed in place yet when it's fixed in place the gap will only be small like that what can be filled because this will actually just move up so it's definitely getting there if anyone's got any suggestions about this bit how to see the water tank uh, would be grateful if you could send me uh, some comments or something um, hopefully uh, I'll speak to you next time and don't forget you can subscribe if you find it interesting oh well I was going to say how I've fixed this wall as well I've got two nail guns here I've got a big nail gun which takes uh, 32 mil nails and I've got a small little electric one here which takes 20-25 mil nails 
I know it's lucky I've just got them. Um, but like this little electric one, they're about £25. So well worth investing if you are doing a boat. Because it's not a great deal. Obviously, that's something completely different. But I'm just lucky I use it. have these tools for work. Because that one's probably about £500, £550 I would guess. So that wouldn't be worth investing obviously. Unless you were using it every day. So, don't forget, you can subscribe, like it, and I'll keep you updated on the outside. Because I've started doing a bit of sanding. I'll get you and show you what I'm doing now. Why the weather's nice. And speak to you next time.